Hey, how's it going guys? Lamps here, but you already know that because I'm the guy who made you rich and read it online. But anyways, welcome back to two more OP hotspots for today. Now, the first one is a no time limit glitch apart from the coin. So I'm showing you this location again because there is a coin involved and when there is a coin involved, the payout is significantly more. So get your ass down here to Armadillo. And this four spawn right here can be a little tricky. So stand exactly where I'm standing. So you'll want to stand next to this wagon right here, right in front of me. Right there, as you can see, there's a wagon where it says gunsmith. So stand right here and then force spawn in all the collectibles. So press start, go to online, and then select free roam. This is how you force spawn in all the collectibles from all the cycles. And the second one will be a time limit glitch. I'll explain that later in the video. Alright guys, so the first collectible will be right here inside this big chest. Big chest, something all you guys like. Alright, so next you want to turn right and just under this house you'll find a Tennessee whiskey bottle. Now I couldn't pick up the first three collectibles because I have maximum of those particular collectibles. Again, I'm saving up for the next Outlaw Pass and then I'll turn in all my sets. So next one, as you can see, you'll want to turn around from the alcohol bottle, go to the opposite direction, and you'll want to pick up a tarot card from the coffin. And then you'll want to make your way across over here, and just next to these haystacks, you'll find yet another tarot card. Now again, make sure to collect these collectibles in the same pattern as me, or else it might despawn the collectibles if you move too far away. Alright, so after you pick up that tarot card, you'll want to go inside the saloon, and on the top floor you'll find a family heirloom and it'll be next to a nightstand and again you're getting xp each time you pick up a collectible at least 200 to 300 xp from each collectible so that's close to 1000 xp per run possibly more so as you can see i picked up uh, i picked up an ivory comb right there from the nightstand all right so now is the main spot for today that's why i'm featuring this hotspot so there's a random coin right here, just below the R in Armadillo. For, for a coin, you need a metal detector and a shovel, of course. So if you don't have those items, you can just close your application after you pick up the family heirloom. So the coin will be on this grave pit right here in front of me. So pull out your metal detector right here and the dig spot will be next to these coffins. So each time you dig the spot up, you'll get a random coin so you can get a full set just from this spot alone. Now usually you'll have to like go across the whole map to get a full set, but with this glitch you can just keep digging the spot and get a full set. Alright, so after you pick this one up, close the application, close the game. Alright, so just like always, I'll explain the PlayStation method first, and then Xbox, and then PC. So on PlayStation, you basically time travel to the past. That's right, your boy Lamps is a time traveler. So the way you time travel is change your date. So you want to go to your settings, go to date and time, and then select set manually. So today is the 26th of June, so I'll change it to the 25th. So each time you do the glitch, close the game, and change the day, I mean date, to one day to the past. Xbox, you just go to your RDR2 game, select manage game and add-ons, go to save data, and then clear your reserve space. And then restart the game, and you'll see that all the collectibles are back. PC, first step is same, collect all the collectibles, close the game, and then delete all the cloud files from temp, and then restart the game. You'll see that all of the collectibles are back that you picked up. As you can see, I was just doing some random shit because I didn't want to. I didn't want people to think it was the same footage. There you go, it's scaring this poor guy. <laughs> and there you go, the ivory comb is back. If you guys are confused on the PC method, I'll leave a link to a friend of mine. His his name is Matchwood X. So go and watch his video. He made like a detailed video on how to do it on PC. But anyways, let's move on to the second hotspot. Alright guys, so for the second hotspot, get your ass down here to Emerald Station, because I said so. As you can see, all of the collectibles that I have marked on the map, these are really valuable collectibles. 
and you'll be able to duplicate them all at once now there's coins there's random jewelries random collectibles you can even duplicate more like collect more collectibles but i'm showing you the best like the best run and it's close to madame nazar and i'll show you madame nazar's location like later in the video at the end of this particular collectible run now this one is a time glitch because we are not going to force spawn in any collectibles mm -hmm. and most of these collectibles are diggables so do not do this i mean unless you have a metal detector and a shovel so diggable items are the highest paying collectibles so if you're watching this video like i'd say within 19 hours then definitely do the second one because it pays more but if you're watching this video after 19 hours that's when the collectibles will change then you can do the first one the first one is pretty much a no time limit glitch apart from the coin but you can pick up the rest of the collectibles anytime you want all right so the first collectible as you just saw was an alcohol bottle so you want to pick that one up first and then you want to make your way over here so next to this big ass tree you'll find a random collectible there you go a random jewelry so this will help you in getting the weekly set because the weekly set always has one random like jewelry i mean one of the three collectibles are random jewelry it's hard to find but since most of these spots are random you'll definitely find one of those items so the next collectible will be on this barn right here on this windowsill you can even pick up this moonshine you can even duplicate this moonshine moonshine is really good for crafting incendiary ammo so it's really it's a good crafting item and you can do this any day you want so if you're watching this video after the set time frame 19 hours you can just go to the gene rope key map the ultimate collector's map and you can see the locations of all the collectibles and then you can make your own run decide what run will suit you the best like what collectibles are close to madame nazar you can make your own hotspot and another good thing about this collectible run is that you can sell the collectibles at the end of your run to madame nazar so in my previous videos i've suggested to collect 10 of each collectibles and then cash out but with this one because madame nazar is so close to the last collectible you can sell the collectibles to madame nazar and then do the glitch like the respective methods depends on what platform you're on but you can even stack up like collect nine or ten of each collectibles and then sell the collectibles to madame nazar but It'll be hard to find 9 and 10 of each since most of these spots are random but that's good because you'll find a full set. Alright guys another thing I forgot to mention is that if you have the moonshine roll like get a moonshine production going before you do the glitch so every 48 minutes you can get like an extra 247 bucks. So if you have the moonshine roll, definitely go to your moonshine shack and start a strong moonshine production and then do the glitch. Alright, so the last collectible will be right here. This is a random collectible. You can get pretty much anything. As you can see I got a necklace. Alright, so where is Madame Nazar? Where is my wife? You might wonder and she is right here. She is my wife. I know her location of course. One of my wives okay <laughs> all right so there's madame nazar so after you pick up all the collectibles on ps4 and ps5 just change the date one day to the past time travel on xbox clear reserve space on pc delete cloud files from temp and then restart the game all right guys that'll be about it for today thank you for your support take care and peace out